Uh, now what am I doing? Where are we going? What's happening next? Man, that was kind of lucky. Father, yeah, what's the name? Jilzin? What? The name of that last boss. Oh, uh... Uh, you're aware, well, you might have his armor. Well, I don't have his armor on this character, sorry. I do on my other character. It's weird. Welcome Some weird thing. Alright, get strong. Yeah, I still wonder what the story is with those guys that have, like, the white masks and wear the bells. Are they supposed to be, like, other hunters, or...? Yeah, I'm not sure. After we beat the Vicar Amelia, or whatever her name is, uh -huh. that's when the moon came out, and I started getting new enemies. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll take a little bit. We don't necessarily need to beat the Grand Cathedral. I can help you with the other one, as long as I can get enough madman's knowledge. Alright. My Mac isn't turning off. But I think now... Whoa! Look out! Still playing the game. <laughs> now I don't think I should have to reset it anymore. Look out behind you, thanks for the warning. If only there wasn't a delay. Serpentine, serpentine. Ow. <laughs> no. Cursed priests. So yeah, I think they do have to use the Quicksilver bullets, because the slow silver just wouldn't work. The beasts are too fast. So do you remember in uh, Super Mario RPG, you fight the one, like, kind of side boss? That's that like really tiny like martial arts guy. You go into his dojo. To be honest, no, I don't remember that. I remember that battle because it was really tough. One of his moves was called Quicksilver, and he would just teleport behind your character and like it was just like he was like pulling down, and then he would poof, and you just fall over and be nearly dead. Hmm. It sounds painful. It was. I barely survived. He was a flea. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the only harder boss was the Final Fantasy boss. Because that had like four crystals, I think, and you had to take out the crystals first before you could uh, stop the boss. Well, these guys hit a bit harder. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Never beat the F off boss or the game. You didn't beat the game? Man, that end boss fight was like one of my favorites. There, you got the wooden shield. Huh? When I first started playing the game, there's the giant sword that like spikes through Bowser's castle, and you've got to take it out. And I thought that would be the end boss, but it is not. He was merely sent on behalf of the end boss. Remember that's a bunch of steps. Gascoigne? Gascoigne? What's his name? The... that guy? Gaston? G yes. <laughs> that's when I thought Mario RPG meant really powerful graphics. They were! This one they were using... I'm pretty sure they used like the same technique of making pre-rendered graphics like they did for the Donkey Kong Country games. Cause it... But I think that actually, they did a better job making it feel like it was 3D more than Donkey Kong. Because Donkey Kong was still like side-scroller. But that, you had kind of like the uh, isometric, like top-down view. So walking around that space, and then the way they built in some of the jumps, like where you had to like hop around to different areas. The map on DKC was 3D, so it wasn't completely a side scroller. <laughs> not, not completely. Did you ever play through the Donkey Kong Country games? Mm -hmm. All three. Or are you talking about the Wii version? No, no the. The SNES versions. Yeah, yeah, I beat all three. I could not get into the third one. The third one was hard. It was difficult. But I was, I was a fan of the first two, <laughs> so I was determined to beat number three. I didn't get far enough in for it to be like really hard. I've seen some playthroughs of it lately, though. That it does look like it's really tough. But it was just like the graphics were somehow worse than the first two. I mean, it was Trixie and then that big stupid baby. So it wasn't even any connection to the first game at that point. See, I thought the second one was kind of cool. Like, 
you know, you weren't playing as Donkey Kong, but you got Diddy and, like, Trixie is one of, like, the best side-scroller characters. Because her little hair, twirly helicopter thing. I'm gonna come back and see if I have any Molo tools. I do not, apparently. But I got enough souls to build, to build up to buy some. Son of a bitch. He hit me really fucking hard. Oh, the Kirk hammer. Yeah, it's the sword that you can use as a hammer as well. It's really not the greatest. You're just gonna be sticking with the axe for now. They couldn't pay well enough to re-enlist the original cast, so they had to make do with the bit character from 2 and hired a new guy off the street. Yeah. That's probably what happened. But yeah, and they also added a lot more stuff, like, to the world map on the third one. Bear store, where you had to use, like, the bear coins, and... Like, going back and looking at, uh... Ah, couldn't God quite damn. get ten. Motherfucker. I don't like you, guy with flames. Yeah, the little flamethrower things they have, they look like those really, like, uh, old-timey, like, bug spray containers they use in, like, the garden. Oh, dog. Yes. Can I run this way? Oh, yeah, what's... Oh. You'll find out later. Never mind. Okay. But yeah, Donkey Kong Country 2, I think, was the best. I liked the first one, many fond memories, but the second one just seems so much better. And the music is really good in both, but I think overall the soundtrack from 2 was stronger. I, I enjoyed playing either one. Like, both of them were good to me. Yeah. I think we're just going back down. That, that way takes you back down to Old Yarnum, right? Yeah. Okay. So I won't go that way right now. And by the bell. Okay. Next time. So you still hearing any echo on the uh, if you find any the character talking? Because I've got, I think I got the volume turned yeah. down a lot more than I did last time. Stay, stay away from me. She is just so pleasant. Oh, hey. Okay. Found out where he comes from. And no answer to my question, so I don't know if the character dialogue is echoing or not. Smacking into too much stuff. Yeah, got it that time. I want initiative. Oh, what I said was, or I asked if you could still hear the echo when the characters in game were talking, because I still haven't worked out my headphone situation yet, but I do have the volume on my TV lower. I will initiate conversation again. Yeah. Audio still echoes, okay. Yeah. Try to sort that out by next week. I was going to work on a bunch of stuff to make things better <laughs> for tonight, but I ended up having to troubleshoot issues with some of the video files that I recorded. Turns out on the longer video files, the program I was using would end up with like rendering errors, and eventually I had to port them over to my Mac and use a program on there to get them to read to where I can edit them and cut them down for uploading. Audio still echoes maybe the cathedral. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure there's a difference between in-game echo and speaker echo. All this week I've been trying to work yeah, with our last time. Bloodborne file so I could upload some fun bits from it, and it wasn't happening. Yeah, and I got the same error on uh, at least one of our Dark Souls playthroughs. So that's why I was really like, man, if it was just one file, then scrap it, but, like, that's way too much footage to give up on. It was reading the resolution on the file as 1280 by 720, because that's what I'm, you know, recording and uploading stuff as. But the window wasn't in a full 16 by 9 ratio. It was more like 4 by 3, so everything was just, like, squished and, like, really tall. I eventually had to use like the newest version of Adobe Premiere where when I was exporting I had the option to basically set the container to a hard width and height of 1280 by 720 and then expand that scrunched video back to fill its original uh, size. I don't know what all happened to it, but like I said it only seemed to happen on files that went on for like 
three hours? It seemed like that was roughly where the cutoff was. Pretty much our last run in Dark Souls until we got to the last couple of bosses was in that same file, so that would have been a huge loss. So it could still be erroring, erroring out, erroring on the uh, the Dark Souls one, but I'm guessing the same solution will work for it. If not, I might just have to do like a uh, dramatic reenactment of <gasps> what Anne Orlando was like. Basically have someone else come and just like beat the crap out of me on camera for a couple <laughs> hours. Yeah, that's, that's really what happened. <laughs> At least for you. I, for once, it was a breeze for me. Normally, I'm not all that great in that area. But thanks to your poison arrow advice. I'm telling you, that's the way to go. You did get munched by a mimic, though. That was fun. I did. That was <laughs> disappointing. <laughs> it does seem like mimics are one of those things, like... If you put too many of them in, then they're not really effective, because then people will just start testing for a mimic on every chest they come by. So it's a tricky balance to get just enough to where you can still fool people with it. So, like, yeah, that's what I was going to say. There are some of them, if you took, like, a big swing at it, then it would just crumble and you didn't get the item that was inside it. Yeah, yeah there's one chest I remember thinking that's just what you're supposed to do. Because they had it, like, it did look really old and worn out. It was right before, um, uh, the, my least favorite part of the game, where you go down and fight that big, like, frog-looking demon. Miley. Huh? Miley. What do you mean, Miley? My least favorite part of the game? My least Oh, favorite. your least. I was like, <laughs> what? My <It's> Miley. <laughs> yeah, my least part of the game. There was a really old, ratty-looking chest against a bunch of, like, barrels. Yeah. And so that one, I was like, oh, you just are supposed to smash it, and all you get is rubbish. And I think it was you who were like, no, there's actually an item in there. You just got to get it first. Yeah. All right, this is where I don't want to get shot. Well, I guess there's really nowhere that I want to get shot, but an area I have to watch out so I don't get shot. It would be interesting as if with this character I play through old Yarnum while the su the the sun is still up. You're used to the moon being up? Yes. Through there? Yeah. Makes the whole area a lot more terrifying. Because <laughs> there's stuff that you can see better while the sun's up in this area. Uh huh. And uh that you can't see normally. Yeah. Not falling off the bridge this time. There's Crows! Oh, crow, crow, crow! Oh, too many crows! <laughs> I got too many cooks! <laughs> too many cooks! Thanks a lot. <laughs> at work, we were laughing at uh, one of the other developers who hadn't actually watched it, but it was just one of those days where we were singing it like over and over. So. He really didn't know how the melody went, <laughs> and so we're just like, too many cooks, too many cooks, too many cooks, and he was like, too many cooks. 